Hello, welcome to the new channel, Python Code UK. It's an English speaking channel dedicated to Python, Python code, tips, tricks, mistakes, and interesting things to do with Python. So let's begin. Today I'm looking at something called a palindrome. Now, palindrome. If we're looking at Wikipedia, let's just see what they say about it. A palindrome is a word, number, phrase, blah, blah, blah. It's basically if it's the same backwards as it is forwards. Madam, race car, so on and so on. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use my list, which I've already made. And let's just say this. What we're going to do is we're going to loop through it and we're going to make another list i had a quick attempt at doing this earlier so uh here we go palind so i've made a list of words that i want to check Palind will be my list of words which are palindromes. Um, so if palindrome equals true, then it will appear in that list. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make a function called reverse word. Reverse word. So we want to reverse each word in the words list add it into a new list and then we'll compare the two. So uh, what, what are we going to pass to the word? Reverse word function, we'll pass it word list. Now make a new list of reverse words. Right, LW. Uh, why don't we call it LRW, list of reversed words. That will only exist within this function. So we want to say for word in word list, word list being what we pass to the function. So it'll be all of these. Um, rev word. So that's a variable that will temporarily store the reversed word. And the iterable, so each one of these is a word. So for each one of these in the words list, we are going to reverse it. So if you've not seen this before, this is what we do. We do uh, colon colon so from the start to the end minus one that sends us from the if you imagine it uh, going right to left it takes us from the right hand end of the list back to the left hand from the end to the start and then a list of reversed words at the moment it's empty, so then we append rev word. So hopefully that's fairly straightforward. And if we return, we need to build that list. At the end of the for loop, we should have iterated through that uh, one, two, six times. After we've done the sixth one, then we need to return. And um, what are we going to return? We're going to return the list of reversed words. So that's the function. Now we're going to use it. So for item in reverse word. Sorry about the microphone, keeps dropping off. Uh, words, we're passing um, our list of six words. And um, we're going to say for it, we're going to reverse use reverse word. I'm just going to reverse all of these, build a list. So 
for our second line, then we can say if item in words, that's effectively the forward list, um, we will can then say palind, so that's our palindrome list, and we're going to append the item. But we're only going to add the item if the item is in this list. So what we've done is we've reversed all of these words and then we've looped through them and we said if the reversed one is the same as the forward one, then we'll add it into this list, palind list, which is empty at start and then we append each of the palindromes to it. So let's see if that works. What I could do is I could print the list palind. So I could just do print uh, palind. That's one way of doing it. We'll do that just to check. Um, we've got a list. However, if I didn't want to, um, if I didn't want to use that, there's another way of doing it, and you may not have seen it. It's um, if you use the asterisk. And unpacks all of the values. So if you look up um, um, unpacking values, it was introduced in Python 3.5, I believe. And um, we can add a new line. So when we run it this way, if you have a look, see the difference? We won't have the square brackets. <laughs> but we will have an error. I think there's an equals missing there. There we go. What it's done is it's unpacked the values. Um, we've we've covered returning a reversed list. So reverse the words. We've reversed each of the words in this list. We've added them to a new list, which is a temporary list, LRW. We've returned that inside the function. The function then gets, we iterate through what the function returns. And if what the function returns is the same as anything in this list, then we add it to our palindrome list. And at the end, we print out the list of palindromes. Uh, let's just add, I don't know, race car and helicopter. Add those and run it again and there you see we now have race car added to the end but not helicopter. So I hope this has been uh, interesting and I'll be back soon with something else. Until next time. Mm -hmm.